Hi there, it's Marzena. This is a very special video because, as you may know from the thumbnail, it's my birthday. And because I like little twists on my channel, I decided that today I will make one of your wishes come true by making the doll that you requested the most. The Bone Fairy. I thought that it might be a cool concept. So, let's do it! It was kinda obvious to use Skelita Calaveras for this project. Just look at her. She is so cool. She has one of the most unique sculpts from all Monster High dolls. Of course her head is a little too big, but that is not a problem. Let's get this party started. I started by cutting off her hair and, oh boy, her hair was so nasty. Then one minute bath head down in a boiling water. When the head was warm, I could safely remove it from the body. And scrub the melted glue that held the hair plugs inside. It took me like forever to remove all this yucky mess from the head. I swear, how much glue can they squeeze into those heads? Apparently a lot. I removed the factory paint with pure acetone. When the head was completely clean, I could finally notice how cool her face sculpt is with this bony forehead of hers. I mean, I really couldn't see that under this terrible face paint. To shrink the head, I sunk it in a pure acetone for two hours and let it dry for the next 24. I am not wasting my acetone, so sorry if it is a little bit nasty after two or three projects. With non-acetone nail polish remover, I wiped the body clean. Normally, I would repeat the shrinking process twice, but this time, after one go, the head started to rip and collapse on one temple, and I was really afraid of destroying it even further. So, well, it won't be as small and proportionate as I would like. I snapped the tip of the neck pack and reattached the head to the body before the acetone fully evaporated. Thanks to that, I didn't need to wider the neck hole. Here you can see that the head is just a little bit smaller than originally. Oh well, at least she doesn't have this terrible face up anymore. Ugh. I managed to fix the collapsing temple with a little bit of super glue. Let's call it a semi success. I marked the spots where I wanted to place a bony horny uh, structures and drill the holes with my micro motor. I also curved the teeth like dimples in her cheeks. I wanted her to look a little bit like skeleton but not entirely anatomically correct. With a thick wire, I made the reinforcements for her horns. Let, let's call it that. I mixed some epoxy sculpt and started sculpting the horns. But they turned out too big, so I snapped the wire a little bit shorter. I 
I hate working in gloves, so I quickly took them off. I heard that epoxy is the most toxic while mixing part A with part B, so I was already safe. I gave the horns some texture. Then I decided that for her hairstyle I will go with the mohawk, so I covered the sides of the head with more epoxy. And let it dry for the night. For my previous face-ups, I had only a small set of brushes, so I ordered some more. Now we're talking. I covered her whole head with few layers of creamy acrylics, then sprayed it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear and blushed it with soft pastels. Shading this face really took a while. When I was satisfied with the shading, I sprayed it once more with MSC and started with the pencils. I decided that this girl should not have eyebrows or eyelashes, for more bony look. But I still gave her hair, so I am not very consistent. I was switching from pastels to pencils a lot, because this face-up was all about shading. I wanted to give her a three-dimensional look, with a face modifications kept to minimum. Because, you know, new things, right? And she needed her black eyes, of course. Because she is like uh, one family with my two fairies. Added some red to the waterline. finally started with the highlighting. Don't forget her lips. more shading. Mm -hmm. 
layer of MSC and I could switch to my lovely acrylics. For the horns, I quickly realized that smearing and wiping the paint is the most efficient way to get the best results. Even though she looked pretty good with eyes entirely black, I decided that cold lights of death will be the best for the irises. So I used blues and greens. I struggled a little with the right iris, as usual, but I figured it out eventually. I added some light spots to the eyes. As for my usual crazy highlights, I kept them at minimum this time. Not that I don't like them anymore, just not with this doll. Okay, a little bit of gloss to the eyes and lips, and her face up is done. I chose a pose for her and glued her in place with super glue. Covered her head with plastic wrap to protect the new face up. And yeah, I chose Skeleta for her skeleton sculpt, but I didn't want my girl to be just a skeleton. Like, her original sculpt is so good, I would only need to paint it a little bit. And where's the challenge in that? So I thought, maybe the bone fairy is called that because she just looks similar to the skeleton. She is very very thin, but not like normal thin and her skin has a bony color, but you know, she's not a tiny flying skeleton, she's just a bug. So I covered all of her amazing body with a thin layer of epoxy. The only parts that I left were hands and feet. I sculpted visible ribs, clavicles and shoulder blades, so she will look like extremely skinny girl.
I also added some spikes and details of camera, because it was a bit tricky to hold her covered in soft epoxy. Then I left her for the night to dry. With a nail buffer I sanded her a little bit just to give the MSC and paint some texture to hold to. I started to paint her, but then I realized that I need to make holes for wings and stand attachment first to avoid the paint chipping away from the doll uh, during the drilling process. It couldn't go smooth, of course. Ugh. Who cares? Nothing I can't fix with a super glue. Finally, I could finish the painting and give my doll a pastel blush. And some paint. I finished the body with some highlights. I prepared some hair wefts from the acrylic yarn. And of course gave them the ombre effect, just to match my Tooth Fairy's concept. With scraps of warbler I made some bones for the stand. Finger bones, of course. I drilled the holes in my stand, one for the doll and five for the fingers. I attached the wire to each finger and painted them with acrylics.
There was only pink Angelina film left after my tooth fairies and it didn't fit the bone fairy concept. So I created the wings with clear UV resin. I tried to make patterns on the wings with paint and fine liner, but only my thick permanent marker worked. Need to buy some thinner ones in the future. I covered the patterns with thin layer of UV resin. I also use the same resin to attach the bigger wings to the smaller ones. Then I decided to darken up my hair wefts a little bit. With a super glue I connected the pieces together wings with the doll and the doll and fingers with the stand. Let's give her some hair! This time I glued only two rows of wefts from the top to the sides. Then I just took some strands of acrylic hair and glued them directly to the head. For the stand I used my favorite method, kitty litter with a wood glue. I poked it here and there from time to time to create those holes and bumps. And left it for the night to completely cure. In the next morning I sanded down the edges and painted the stand with brown acrylics.
First, I mixed some warm browns, but it looked like crap, literally. So I added some whites and blacks and it was way better. Then, just to add some texture, I glued on my beloved moss. But only very small chunks this time. Let's trim the mohawk a little bit. I am a lousy hairdresser, but a little snip here and snap there and it turned out decent. And my sixth project was done. So, what do you think? I am really happy with how she turned out and I think she really fits in the Tooth Fairy family. I love her face and I think she looked dope bald as well as with wild long hair and with the final mohawk. I know that she is not supposed to be cute, but all my dolls are cute to me. I can't help it. I do hope that anyone who requested this theme won't be disappointed. Thank you all for spending my birthday with me. If you liked this process, you can give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Push the bell button to be notified about my future projects. Also, feel free to leave a comment if you have some tips or want to ask me a question. Or maybe you just want to say hi. Thank you all for watching and see you soon! Pretty!